In the fall of 2000, James Hicks leads detectives here to a house set back in the woods. As Vance Tibbetts watches, a forensic team pulls his sister's remains from a shallow grave nearby. A few feet away, police find the skull of Hicks' first wife, Jenny Sear Hicks. The next day, in a patch of woods upstate, the body of Hicks' last victim, Lynn Willette, is unearthed. The investigation is complete. All that remains is sentencing. On December 4th, a serial killer smiles for the cameras. James, what do you have to say to the families of your victims? Mr. Hicks, what's the name Lynn mean to you? Inside the courtroom, the families gather. The killer sits at the defense table, seemingly at ease. The judge hands down two concurrent life sentences for the murders of Geraldine Towers and Lynn Willette, and 55 years for the assault on June Moss in Lubbock. After 23 years, the killing is done. James Hicks' legacy of grief is complete. He expresses neither remorse nor an understanding of his crimes. The only certainty, it appears, is this. If James Hicks were ever released back into society, he would almost certainly hunt and kill again. I said to him one day, I said, Jimmy, you need to spend the rest of your life in a prison, locked up. I said, because if you don't, another woman is going to die and he looked at me and he said you're right i've come to realize that